I'm throwing the notes out. No notes, okay? No notes on today's video. Usually I have, you know, little pieces of paper, things I wanna to touch on, numbers, interest rates, or programs, and what you need to qualify. Screw all that today. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna put it real, real simple for you guys. So first of all, thank you. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. For the people who've been watching my videos, I love you. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I hope I'm bringing some kind of value to you guys, to your lives, and your financial life when it comes to buying a house. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching my channel. I've been getting a lot, a lot of people messaging me, emailing me about questions about buying a house. I'm so happy and grateful. So I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it. But as these messages start coming in, and I'm digging into people's financial lives, talking about their income and, you know, they're excited to buy a house. One of the things that I keep seeing over and over again is people wanting to buy a house when they're in a lot of debt, okay? Look, before you put your eyes on buying a house, before you focus on, I wanna buy a house in the next six months, clean up the rest of your finances. Build a solid foundation before you buy a house. Buying a house is a big commitment. It's gonna be the biggest thing that you buy in your whole life, okay? So before you jump into this world, clean up your okay? clean it up get out of debt if you're in 30 40 thousand dollars 20 30, whatever if you're over 10 grand in debt and you're paying 20 25 some of these credit cards are 30 percent interest that's not a solid foundation to step into the biggest purchase of your life so the number one thing you need to do is get out of debt get out of debt okay all that interest that you're paying is helping build the skyscrapers of all the banks across america those skyscrapers that you see says bank of america or wells fargo or citibank you're paying for that right just like the hotels and casinos in vegas that are so beautiful that are built with the money of gamblers you guys are paying for those sky rises. So the first thing you need to do, get out of debt. If you had collections accounts, take care of it. If you owe the IRS money, take care of it, okay? If you owe credit card bills with twenty dollars and $30,000 in debt, paying ridiculous amounts of interest, get out of debt. Pay that off first. I'm not saying don't buy a house, okay? Definitely. You want to do that, but you want to have a clean slate before you jump into that world, okay? For a few reasons. Number one, when you pay off your debt, your score is going to go up. When your score goes up, you get a much better deal on a loan, okay? Someone who has a 600 credit score and wants to get an FHA loan is going to pay thousands of dollars in fees and thousands of dollars of interest a month more than someone who has clean credit and a little bit more of a down payment than three and a half percent okay not knocking fha it's a good program but if you're already putting three and a half percent if you could just save another 1.5 you save the three and a half save a couple more thousand dollars put it off for a few more months get up to five percent Okay, you're gonna save not only the upfront mortgage insurance, every single month your mortgage insurance is gonna be a fraction of what it would be with FHA, okay? So sometimes people get stuck in that cycle. You have a lot of debt, you have a low score, then you get an FHA loan, that's a high debt, right? You're paying extra fees, you're paying mortgage insurance, and the cycle keeps going, and the banks keep building. Okay, you don't want to be that. You don't want to be that person. So get out of debt first before you jump into the you know home buying process. Okay.
Okay, once you're out of debt, it's gonna be so easy to save money. And that's what rich people do, right? You wanna be wealthy, you wanna be rich. You don't build it by being in a bunch of debt, okay? So now you're out of debt, guess what? You're making the same amount of money, you don't have all this debt to pay for. What happens? Your discretionary income goes up. Your savings goes up. Wow, I could save a whole lot of money now because I don't have to pay for all this debt. Now you can save. Now you can invest in a house. Now you can invest in the stock market, right? Now you can start really building wealth. Okay, so this is what rich people do, right? They get out of debt. That's number one. Get the hell out of debt. Number two, wow, all of a sudden I could save a couple thousand dollars a month because I don't have a car loan and 30,000 in credit card debt and all this other stuff. You know, live within your means, okay? Have a plan, create a budget, and stick in that budget. If you don't have a budget, you don't have a plan, you don't know where the hell you're going and you're gonna get lost. 100% guaranteed. Create a budget and stick to it. One of the channels I highly, highly recommend, go watch Dave Ramsey, okay? Dave Ramsey, is on YouTube and he's been in the finance and real estate business for the last 30 or 40 years. He has invaluable information that can help you on this journey. So in addition, again, thank you for watching my videos, but check out a guy like Dave, binge on his stuff because he knows what the hell he's doing. He's had a lot of success and he's been helping people for many, many years. So check him out, he's another great resource. So look, that's my advice to you guys after making like, you know, six months of videos consistently and talking to you. You know, I'm literally talking to probably a dozen people every single month. I probably talk to 40 or 50 people and that's the one thing that I keep seeing is people wanting to jump into buying a house while they're in a whole lot of debt. It's not a good idea, okay? First, get out, build that foundation, raise your score, have some savings, then invest, okay? I love you guys, I want you to succeed, but I feel like it was time to make a video and check you guys because you know, you gotta have a plan. A lot of you guys don't have a plan, right? And you've grown up in a society and gone to school where none of this is taught. You know, I grew up in a household where we didn't talk about finances. I didn't know shit about finances growing up. My parents weren't great with money. My parents were always in a bunch of debt. It wasn't until I was in my 20s, mid 20s, even 30s, where I started to understand that you have to have a plan. And the first part of that plan is to get out of debt. So love you guys. I want you to succeed. I want you guys to make money. So I hope. This video sparks a fire in your behind and you start taking this seriously and take that first step before you jump into buying a house. Make your focus eliminate your debt. Thank you guys. I will see you next time.